Good evening everybody, I'm Jeremy from Survival Showcase. Tonight I want to show you a Canadian made knife from the knife manufacturer D.H. Russell Groman Knives. So we've got our lovely looking knife here. This is the uh, stainless steel number no. four survival knife by Russell Groman Knives. Um, you can get this knife in a bunch of different variations. You can get uh, a stainless blade, you can get a carbon blade. Um, other features that are available are the natural rosewood handle, which this knife features. You can get a, a wine extra resin wood. You can get a black linen micarta handles on there. You can get uh, water buffalo horn as well as stag horn handles if you would like. Um, some other features are the grinds of the knife. You can get uh, the regular saber grind that this knife features. You can also get the flat grind. And the different sheaths, there's a number of those available for these style of knives as well. The one that you see here is a full grain leather sheath. Um, it's very nice. It's got the button tab here on the back. So basically what you do is uh, the button tab just opens up like that. Very carefully without cutting myself, insert the knife. And then it just, this one's a brand new one, so it's a little bit stiff right now. It just goes over top and it'll keep your knife from falling out. That's not gonna go anywhere on you. It's secured in there very well. Take it out, just push it down, pull it out. Set it back up so we can look at the knife again. Um, you can get uh, the open style sheath. They also do um, an army style sheath as well. So they actually issue this these style of knives to the Canadian military and they have their own style of sheath that they like, but it's also obtainable for the general public and civilians. They can get that sheath that they like. Um, you can also get a sheath uh, that uh, looks the same as this one here, but has a little pocket on the backside and it carries a sharpening stone. So that's a nice little feature too for people that like to have their sharpening stone with them. Uh, the overall feel of this knife is very comfortable. We've got lots of room on the handle. So this is gonna suit people with larger hands as well. Um, not only a survival knife, but you can use it for hunting as well. You know, if you want a skin game, it's going to, it's going to do that job very well. Um, you know, making your fire starter sticks, everything you can get, uh, it's got nice jimping up here on the back for your thumb, give it some extra traction there, extra grip. Uh, you can snug up really close to the blade down here with that nice little cut groove in there. And it feels really nice in your hand. So you really get the the shape of the blade. It's, it's nice and thick back here, which gives you, lets you wrap your finger right around and then thin up at the th uh, front, right in through here, which allows you to get really good control and be able to manipulate that blade very nicely. Um, these knives, they're all, any of the Russell Groman knives are basically, they're, they're, they're manufactured after their original number one Russell belt knife. So even though this, so the people that know these knives, it doesn't look exactly like the, uh, the number one belt knife, but it is still in that theme style. Um, the blade on this knife here is five and a half inches long by an inch and three eighths thick through here, through the thickest portion, and it tapers down, so you got some varying degrees of measurement there, by three sixteenths uh, stock steel that uh, goes, so your thickness of the steel is three sixteenths. Uh, the total length of the overall knife is about uh, five, five and a half inch, five and a half inches, or sorry, five, ten and a half inches long overall length, right through there. So it's it's it's, it's a good size knife, but uh, when you wear it with this sheath here, you put it on your belt, it rides really nice. You could uh, be riding an ATV or a horse, and it's going to stay there nicely, uh, same as when you're walking around. It's going to be in place on the, on the side where you want it, and not all over the place. Um, a little bit of history, if you log on to the website, they have a good story about the company. It's www.gromanknives.com. Uh, there's a little section about the history. The knife maker, the original knife maker, was a German fellow and he came over here after the war. Um, he moved to Pictou, Nova Scotia, Canada. That's where he um, set up shop um, on the grounds of the old uh, Pictou Cutlery, which was a government building that made knives before, before his time. So if you go over to the website, there's a lot more information on there. You can uh, read all about the company. It's a great company. If, if, you're, if you're looking at adding a different knife to your survival collection, I definitely recommend this one. 
Uh, once you get in your hand, you'll understand why. Uh, that's it for this uh, review right now. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, share the videos, please. Thanks a lot.